Yes, Dad, I want you to listen to me carefully. There will be no wisdom letting you remain in the country given the present political situation here in the country. Please, just travel overseas. Just go. Dad, why do you always see me as that little boy you used to know? I'm now a full-grown man. I can take good care of myself. Why are you doubting my maturity? So I'm not doubting your maturity. I know you're a big boy. Yes, I know. But I'm just being security conscious. I presume you are aware that the elections are just by the corner. And I have less than a year to spend as a governor of the state. That's where I'm concerned. I know all that, Father. But it still means nothing to me. Son, please. Please. I want you to help me fight this fight from outside the country. If you're hurt, I'm hurt. If I'm the target and they get you, they've gotten me. And I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Please, son, just go. With all due respect, Dad, I can't just travel abroad because elections are by the corner. I will stay here and fight this fight with you. Trust me, nothing bad will happen to me. Even if anything happens to me, you still have my two younger sisters abroad to hold on to. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing would happen to you. God forbid it. Nothing bad will happen to you. You know, you're my only son. Yes, you are. You know, but son, I want you to think about what I just told you. Think about it. There's every wisdom in you going away. Please. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. How did it go? Um, very smooth, Your Excellency. Very smooth. Good. How many people were on board? Just one, Your Excellency. The main target. High Chief Molu. High Chief Molu. You underrated my seriousness. No one dares the lion and goes scot free. Uh, but, boss, we almost missed our target. But thank our stars, we did a very nice work before embarking on the adventure. Thank your stars, because you know how much I hate mistakes. High Chief Wong thinks he can run back to London after generating more enemies for my father and his successor. Nice one, boys. But trust me, we still have more to do. No problem. No problem. You can go. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a bon sheep. It's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Sheep we bon go to. It's a useless sheep. Yeah, yeah. Then they do. What if people no like you? Then they chop money. Like say now their money. Oh. The governor in his son. Them be stupid people. Then they make shakara. Their time don't go, oh, the governor's son. Like father, like son. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Go to a bon ship, It's a useless girl. Good afternoon, everyone. The governor's son is around, and he wants to do some shopping himself. So everyone, get outside. Out! The 
wait till you hear that the governor's son is around. Eh? Of course I heard you. But I'm not done with my shopping. I still have a couple of things to buy. Even when you've been told that the governor's son is around. Are you mad? What are you still doing here? Excuse me. I don't see how my being here makes the space insufficient to accommodate the governor's son. I am a medical doctor by profession and a bona fide citizen of this country. I know my right. You both can't just infringe on my fundamental human right. Okay, Mr. Medical Doctor, you still have them to stand here and speak grammar. Yes, Yoyala! Get out, idiot! The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a bon sheep. He's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Sheep away, bon go to a. It's a useless sheep. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to a bon sheep. It's a useless goat. Yeah, yeah. Sheep away, bon go to a. It's a useless sheep. Collins. Yeah, yeah. What's your problem? I mean, what is your problem? Are you mad? Are you mad? Don't you know election is by the corner? Don't you know the opposition party is looking for means to tarnish the little image we have left? Don't you know? I'm sorry. Okay, sit down. Listen, son. In this business, you need to be very rugged. I mean, very rugged. You have to learn to use your head and use it properly to enable us position our gubernatorial candidates for victory in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. Your Excellency, your message is clear. But you need to give me space on this. I want to fish out your enemies and deal with them decisively. I want them to have this fear of what we can do at the back of their minds, always. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Please don't get me any angrier, please. Please, I beg of you. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I just have to tell you my mind. I'm your wife for Christ's sake. You don't expect me to jump up and down, dancing around, praising you, while all you do is get so much involved in girls' empowerment. Now, woman, I've always taught you to be a very intelligent person. But you're beginning to give me reason to doubt your intelligence. I remember shortly before I assumed office as governor of the state, you were the one that practically begged me to please include, as part of my policies, the girl child empowerment. So what are you talking about? I did at that time. Not now that everyone is looking for what to talk about. Honey, our opponents are looking for something to use against us. Should be more involved in projects that will alleviate poverty among our people. Not moving around with girls, getting so much involved in beauty pageantry, clubbing all night. I don't even think you want to know what people are saying. I don't care, sweetheart. I don't care what they say. Oh, you, you will. They are your people. Let them go ahead and say whatever they want to say. Listen, you must know that whether you do or you don't do, people are bound to say whatever they want to say. I don't care, sweetie. Oh, 
Ah, Jesus Christ. God help me. Oh. Darling, please take it easy. Nobody forced you to be a great philanthropist. This is what it takes. I know you don't wish I stop, do you? Oh, no. You know I'm joking, right? I said, well, But of the truth, the tax is here no more so. I know, darling, I know. <sighs> this is too much. You know what? Yeah. God will help us. His name is Jehovah Jireh. God that provides. He knows the massive number of people waiting to be blessed by your benevolence this December. I know. You're right, my angel. Thousands of widows. Orphans, less privileged, are waiting for me to bless them this December, as I used to do for several years. Yes. If I fail to provide their needs, cash, dress, food, heart, they will cry and heaven will fall. <laughs> no, God will help me. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, you see, that's why I'm called the master strategist. Yes, Your Excellency. When you draw a map, if the International Geographic Council obeys it. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, you are just too much. I, I, I wish your tenure in the office could be extended to last longer than the time it elapses. <laughs> Do you know you've really taught me to understand what it means to work with a guy man? <laughs> You call me a guy, man. That's, <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> well, I'm glad, you know, that a few people um, appreciate my efforts, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to youth empowerment. Yes. Your Excellency, youth empowerment, that is an area where you have so many facts of your policies. And also in the area of empowering beautiful girls. Ah, <laughs> Emilia, you can say that again. <laughs> Your Excellency, that means I, Alphonsus Eze, I have delivered a special advisor on special props and enjoyment logistics. <laughs> <laughs> Not only you, Honorable, me too, as a Commissioner for Women Affairs. <laughs> but I carefully chose you people. <laughs> Very carefully. Yes, yes, Anyhow, I want us to uh, do something a little bit um, away from the usual. Mm -hmm. I want you to organize me beauty pageant. Okay. You know, girls under 14, 15, you know, 16, you know what I mean? Mm. With small, small tits. Mm. Let's see how it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Especially dudes with their shapes like this. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's there. Mom, <laughs> rumor has it that you're not in total support of your husband's efforts in promoting culture and tourism in the state. How true is that? That rumor is baseless. I can clearly tell you that. Um, I granted an interview to a journalist okay. and stated that I am not very comfortable with His Excellency getting involved in several beauty shows in the state. Okay. Why the state need more? Okay. To alleviate poverty among our people. That's exactly what I told them. Okay. Thank you, Your Excellency. But before you leave, does that mean you buy the idea of people saying that His Excellency, your husband, doesn't have the right kind of advisors that will tell him exactly what the needs of the citizens of the state are as priorities? I wouldn't say yes. One thing I don't understand is why young girls are being imported from several states to this state, okay. all in the name of beauty pageantry. Why the state needs programs that will alleviate poverty among our people? Sure. But I will assure you that my husband, His Excellency, 
will do something about all this. Okay. Could you please excuse me? Thank you. We appreciate it. What was it you thought you were doing? Huh? What was it you thought you were doing? Now you listen. Let this be the very last time you will grant such a stupid interview to the press. If you try it next time, you'll be shocked at what I'll do to you. But honey, I've said I'm sorry. It was never my intention to smear your name in the mud. All I said is that your advisors are not doing the right thing at the right time. And what they are my advisors. Not yours. I am the governor. I appointed them to lead them to me. This is a political matter. Let me okay. Yes, we need to think. Oh, you think you are winning? Oh, I Remember, he keep last, last, last one. Say that today, ninety with four. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Okuna for Gomaja. What is your problem? I am talking to you. Allow me to concentrate. Come on. That is Evelyn that is running her mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Disturbing everybody in the house. That is a lie. It's the one causing the noise. I don't want to know. Just allow me to concentrate. Please. Yes, I'm sorry, okay? Okay, I'll call back, I'll call back. I'm very happy. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. It's like this. So, Daddy, who was that person that arrested you with this call? Hmm. The chairman of Abam State Progressive Union in Thailand. Wow, Thailand? Yeah. Dad, that Thailand of a place, I think that should be the next place we spend our vacation. Shut up. <laughs> Thailand vacation. Let me tell you, you just called to thank me on behalf of urban people. Wow. Hmm? That's good. Yeah, towards my efforts in poverty elevation and women capacity development in Nigeria. Oh, that's great, Daddy. Yeah. So let me tell you, um, I'm always overjoyed when I'm genuinely appreciated for doing anything good. Nice. But all the glory goes to God. Daddy. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. No. Mr. Thailand. Mm. Okay. My dear son and very good friend. I want to let you know that I have seriously, seriously considered the discussions I had with your stepmother on the one hand and the discussions I had with you on the other hand. And I want to let you know, son, that I have made up my mind to go ahead and contest the gubernatorial elections of our party, the Democratic People's Movement. And I have decided to do so no matter how fierce and deadly that battle will be. Um, Father? Yes, sir. I can remember vividly that a while ago, you told me you were considering stepping down from the race of becoming your party's gubernatorial flag bearer. That's true, sir. Okay, and today, you are also the one telling me in succinct terms you want to continue with the race of achieving your goal. That is also true. No problems. Uh, I wouldn't want to be the one against your success within the context of discussion. As a matter of fact, I want to promise you, Father, 
that I will do everything humanly possible to ensure you emerge victorious at the end of the day, no matter whose ox is God. <laughs> Thank you very much, son. Thank you. I pleasure. want to let you know that I really appreciate your support. It's my pleasure, Father. And I'm counting on you. Come on, let's have a drink. Kiss it on. I sneaked in last night. I didn't want to wake you up after my meeting with things. No problem. So how did it go? Very fine, very fine. Okay. He has accepted to support my gubernatorial ambition. Wow. Mm. In spite of his uh, previous uh, stance. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy because charity begins at home. Yes, Darren. United will stand, but divided will fall. I'm very much overwhelmed with joy and I'm very much confident. You have the support of about 80% of the citizens of this state to win the forthcoming gubernatorial election and become the next governor of this state. <laughs> yeah, I know. My greatest challenge now is to win the party primaries. And that will require a lot, a whole lot. Don't worry, Darren. You will win. The president has given me his word. He wants to do it to appreciate my late parents for what they did for him. And I'm very ready to spend almost all the billions of naira my late parents willed to me as their only child. Just to see you emerge victorious at the end of the day. I want to become the first lady of this state. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the first lady. <laughs> be the first lady of this state. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, I want to assure you that I have everything worked according to plan. <laughs> according to your plan. <laughs> what is left for us to do is to go out to the field, to the grassroots and achieve victory. Total victory. PDM, victory! PDM, victory! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Your Excellency, I, Honorable Nandi, I'm ready to serve. I know. I am ready to do any work allotted to me, especially in this end part of the battle. Very soon the battle will be over. Of course you will emerge the winner. You know I trust you, my brother. I trust you. The same thing with me. My governor to be. Just mention the task you have assigned to me and I shall deliver on it. <laughs> I know you, Honorable Victor. I know you. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I want to assure you that on my own part, as soon as we have achieved victory, total victory, I will not hesitate to reward you immensely. Thank you very much, my governor to be. <laughs> Without wasting any time, Honorable Namdi, Your Excellency, I have decided that you are going to be the manager of my campaign team. <laughs> <laughs> you know I trust you, my brother. Thank you, Your Excellency. Total victory. That's right. <laughs> Honorable Victor. My governor to be. Honorable Victor. My governor to be. <laughs> you are going to be in charge of general logistics. Thank you very much. <laughs> general logistics. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, let us go there. Achieve victory. Total victory. Victory. PDM. Victory. 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 <laughs> we have it. Let's do it. <laughs> Your governor is drunk. Your governor is tipsy. I can't be drunk. Mm. But I'm tipsy for a reason. Because of these girls. 
So, um, honorable. Yes, Your Excellency. <gasps> Easy. Mm, Easy. In case I do not wake up tomorrow, That's don't think I'm dead. Mm. Because three of them cannot kill me. Mm. They cannot, okay? <clears throat> mm. What I want you to do is, please, make available three brand new cars. Oh, plus one billion naira each. Oh. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. <laughs> Let us go. Easy. See. Ah. Ah. Mm. Uh -huh. Come here. Mm -hmm. Honorable. Yes, Your Excellency. I said three brand new cars plus one billion naira each. The state is my state. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency. The money is my money. Because mm -hmm. let's go. Gentlemen, all hands on deck. This is when we need every hand on deck. We must ensure total victory. Total victory at the party primaries. We have absolutely no reason to lose our guard at any point in time. Focus, gentlemen, focus and diligence. That is what we need to show them how prepared we are for this election. PDM! 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 Total victory. Your Excellency, there is no cause for alarm. I and the campaign team have been able to sell your name and your manifesto to the people. We've as well endeared you into the hearts of not only our party members, but the entire citizens of Abam State. Your Excellency, I can now boast. Yes, I can boast because we've doubled our efforts to make sure that success and victory are achieved, as you said. I trust you, my brother. I trust you. <laughs> my governor to be. <clears throat> Having gone so far in our attempt to win this forthcoming uh, election, there are some things we need to take care of. Those are party stores who are capable of giving us problems on that day. Should be taken care of, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Honorable Victor. One of such people on our list should be Honorable Wanko. Mm. Wankwo, as far as these primaries are concerned, he stands even a better chance than myself. So what do we do? Get him out of the way and damn the consequences. You get ready. Your service, sir. I don't have 
and why you really have it. Any man that the always gives can never do what? what one can do. I now remember how God helped the woman that helped me. The woman that put by her power for the house of God to grow. Today God has blessed our family. Yes, Your Excellency, I am getting every point you're making. Good. The bottom line is this, Dr. Maxwell, are you willing to do everything I asked you to do? Yes, Your Excellency. Good. That means that between today and Saturday, there are one or two things you and I are going to do, after which we will now enter the agreement proper. Is that okay by you? No problem, Your Excellency. So just go ahead and celebrate, okay? Because I will not only support you to niche our party's tickets for the next gubernatorial election, but I shall make sure that you sit on this chair as the next governor of the state. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I will forever remain grateful and loyal to you. It's more like it. <laughs> We just have to make hay while the sun shines. There is no gain saying we have a lot of work in our hands right now. All we need to do is to understand the reason why our job seems to be more stressful. Hope I'm communicating. Yes, Your Excellency. Good. Top on the list of the things that need urgent attention is the coded execution of the only man I believe holds the secret that could ruin my husband's governorship ambition. That man needs to be executed as soon as possible before the primaries. Hope we are together. Yes, Your Excellency. Good boys. I want to thank you guys for the coded execution of the High Chief you carried out yesterday. You guys are just the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good. I have 10 million naira here for the three of you. Just to show appreciation for what you guys did. Here, have it. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. You're welcome. We all you know what. Action speaks louder than our voice. I trust you guys. Excuse me. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Hey! Hmm. Kau apa ni makan nota? Hmm. Anak mana ada mai baku tawa ni azu wela tu via ime? Hmm. Makan awak apa ni nama ni avi ke? Nama ya mum masih kau kan uku? Hmm. Honorable. Is a strong one. But as Zangungu have confirmed that you have all it takes to become the next governor of your state. And she is willing and capable 
to help you succeed in your feet. Please thank her for me. Good. Hey, as na 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 Rafi si aka wala aboto. Eh? No ko ni wa ya wa agwa ma na si agwa na die. Ah. She said that to whom much is given, much is expected. I know. Eh? As a go. Eh? To ni ainu ko gata. Ah. E mo kwa no gri adrama na enu inu na esisi. Ma na tinye no vo me vo va to vo to. <laughs> there are some rituals you need to perform so that your way will be open. Huh? Permit me to say my mind and the mind of that Bansipo's forum in Iraq. We all decided that I should come down to Nigeria and deliver this message directly to you, Dark. And we have a dream. And we want to translate that dream into reality. So, Dark, we want you to come out and rescue our state from accelerating to total collapse and unavoidable state of anarchy. We want you as a next governor. Dark, we want you to come out and contest. Our assurance is that we're going to rally around you and sponsor you. That's our assurance. Because um, we want our own person on the seat of the governor, not to as a barrage. That's what we want. Uh, professor, I'm overjoyed. But I won't talk now. I won't talk now. I won't talk now. I won't talk now. Take a look at this. Oh, this is nice. An award of excellence presented to Dr. Peter, Peter Oji. <laughs> well, that this is good. This is good. And uh, back to what we are saying, I think this is a golden opportunity and you shouldn't allow it to slip through your fingers. Yes, Daddy is right. But Daddy, you have to forget about all what your colleagues by saying the vineyard of God. You're truly a man of God, Daddy. Daddy, you have to go into politics genuinely to correct all the ills in this society. <laughs> or are you trying to say that it's now a sin for a man of God to go into active politics? To save his people from misrule? No, of course. I strongly believe that what this state and this country need now is capable, kind hearted men of God to rescue their people. But me, I am not ready to go into politics now. Dad, you need to have a refrain code. Daddy, why? Because this is a nice opportunity. People should talk to him more. Yeah. I am not ready now. Your Excellency, sir, my able governor to be. I, Honorable Dr. Mrs. Cynthia Abel know what I want and exactly how to get it. Your Excellency, all I require from you is an urgent attention to my department when necessary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like she said, I'm very, very ready to work and to deliver. My able governor to be, come primaries and the main elections. Actually, Mrs. Veronica here told me something of which I would be glad if she would be able to say it here herself. Thank you very much. Okay, Mrs. Veronica, let's hear you out. Oh, yes, um, your excellency, sir. As a seasoned accountant that I am, I am of the opinion that a team of credible party leaders who are on our side should be selected to oversee the keeping of all our financial records as concerns the nation generally. My humble opinion, sir. I agree. Thank you for the good advice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, gentlemen and ladies, we will have to close this meeting because there are so many other people waiting 
outside and we need to talk to everybody <clears throat> we don't have time you agree no time we have to move fast so everybody can return to their assigned um, duties but um, okay we are going to make available money to you money so that you go back and mobilize all the women all women in the remaining local government areas slide Zegu, this is for your department. Remember, total victory. Focus, diligence, that's what we need. We must deliver. We must. Yeah. Madam, this for your department and them. Um, um, no. Uh, Madam, you will wait behind and discuss the details of your proposal with the campaign chairman. Huh? So, people, let's go out there and achieve total We want Pitaji, we need change. 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 I must tell you, it is a thing of joy for notable men of God in this state to be planning to send a high power delegation mm. to come and meet our daddy, mm. yes, Dr. Peters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? I mean, to see reasons with him. Yeah. It is a set time for him to come out and liberate his people from the shackles of bad governance. Yes. You are right, Pastor Matthew. You know, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, there is time for everything. Yes. And I believe this is the time for the true change we have been praying for all this while. Yes, so. And I just pray it doesn't fail them. I pray it doesn't turn down their request. Uh, I pray too. After doing them to several well-meaning groups that have so far met him on that. I pray too. I'm scared. Oh, well, let's see how it goes. I pray too. Yeah. We don't have a choice here. There is no two ways about this. The campaigns are becoming both fierce and more cash demanding by the day. I know. Therefore, we need to start spending more money. And mind you, I wouldn't want anything at all to stop you from winning the primaries and going ahead to win the main election. Nothing will stop me. I will win the primaries. And nothing will stop me from winning the elections. Look, we belong to the best party. And the people of this state know why they have to vote out the ruling party. Okay. Don't worry. Good. Therefore, we need to start spending more money. In fact, we need to share three times whatever amount of money other candidates share to the delegates that will come for the primaries. Because I know they must lobby. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. They say politics is a dirty game. But no, politics is for the faithful. But no, politics is honorable. But no, politics is Truthful. Calling. Nadia. What's the matter? Nothing. You were okay before I went upstairs. Why are you still pacing around? I am okay. No, you're not. I you're am... not. You're not. Please come. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I'm okay, my sweetheart. Are you still worried about not having enough to give out this Christmas? Yes. 
You don't have to kill yourself over this issue. Sweetheart, for several years now, you've been spending hundreds of millions of naira to support your foundation. If you don't have enough to meet up with the pressure this year, I think we should cut off some people from the lashes on this Christmas. Please, sweetheart. No. No, we can't produce those things we used to do for the poor widows. Hmm? Off arms, less privileged, disabled ones. Instead to reduce them, we increase them. Although the demand is much, I wouldn't mind selling some of the landed properties and do them. God is faithful. I'm expecting a miracle that will turn things around for the best. Amen. Just watch and know my God, He will do it. Amen. I will reduce them. Agreed. I will increase them. Yes. God bless you. <laughs> it's quite obvious and certain that we all have not paid our school fees. And we don't even have the possible means of paying it. The way I'm looking at things, I sense danger. I suggest that we should seek an urgent and proactive solution to our present predicaments before they throw us out of the school. What do you say? First of all, I thank God and every one of us here for making this gathering possible, you know, to discuss our present predicament because it's really, really affecting us badly. And I think I support what she just said. Yeah. yeah. It's still in time they say saves nine. All of us here are ESCO members of the union of all the less privileged secondary school students and other brilliant students that are still under the scholarship scheme of Peter's Foundation. So I believe that about 2,000 or more students' fate lies in our hands. So I think we should put our hands together and think out a solution to the problem because it's really, really affecting us. Well, we all have spoken well, but my question still remains, what do we do right now? I mean, that's the main reason why we're here. Prayers. I mean prayers. I thank God all of us here are Christians who believe in the miraculous power of God. Therefore, I suggest we conduct a short prayer and a fasting exercise and beg God to help us by blessing our sponsor, Dr. Peter Oji, miraculously and make the government to release all his goods that we are seized and unfreeze his back account that was frozen due to selfish reasons. My sister, you just made a point. We need to seek the face of God immediately because God knows how many children that innocent man has been taking care of for several years now and can't afford not to hear our prayers and turn things around for good. Please, I suggest we involve the union of all the tertiary institution students that are all also under the scholarship scheme to make it a one house. That is my own point of view. Please, can I ask a question? How sure are we that our other colleagues will want to join us in doing this? Yes, I believe they will. Are you sure? Two prayers. Are you sure? Okay, if you say so. My dear people of Abam State, I want to use this medium to crave your indulgence, to please bear with me and my cabinet regarding the present economic situation confronting the state. We are not happy that things are the way they are, but I can assure you that we are working tirelessly to make sure that the backlog six month salaries owed to the workers are paid. At the same time, I am also using this medium to warn politicians in the states to desist from making unguarded statements that might incite people, as my government will not take it kindly with anybody found culpable. Thank you. May God bless the good people of Abam State and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Wow. 
Wow. You are really God sent. Yes, of course. Sir, people like you are very rare to find on this planet Earth. God sent you especially to help the poor. I mean, who in this present Nigeria will go out of his way to use what I term his last penny to help the poor and decide to go hungry himself? I've never seen. Hmm. Mm. I appreciate you for commending me. But the problem is this. I can't do without helping the poor. I can't do without providing for them. As I can. But I believe that that is the reason why God is keeping me today. Let me share this money with you. Years back, when I was traveling to worry, I had an accident. They put my dead body in the mortuary for over 26 hours. What? Haha. <laughs> well, look at me here today, David. Can you see what God can do? Wow, indeed, sir. God really loves you. Indeed. But the only way I can appreciate God is to make myself an instrument to provide for the needy. The little I can. And I believe so much that he. It was the cry, the combined cries of the poor widows and orphans that forced God to bring me back to life. Do you see my reason now? Thank you, Jesus. May his name be praised. Amen. Let me get you a bottle of brandy. What for? So you could take like two shots, get a bit gingered, and get on the same level of swagger with me. I am an actual lady. I agreed to marry you because I knew how rugged you were. I don't like it when you dull my spirit. So, I need to get high to know what to do, right? That is not what I'm talking about. I just want you to open your eyes and see what is happening. Double your momentum and breeze up to the challenge. But that is what I've been doing. Is that not why I said, let us send the two kids abroad? So we can have time for the elections to battle my opponents. My love, so what haven't you thought of anything we could do to that man that is any way reviews? We need several merit awards. His popularity is giving me sleepless nights. How are you sure the present state government decides to cash in on that and try redeeming the bad image of their decaying party 
and making him his gubernatorial flag bearer. Listen. Dr. Peter Oji is a true man of God. He has no business in politics. Besides, the governor has Chief Maxwell Igwe as his preferred candidate for their party primaries. This is a political matter. Honorable Eke, that one falls within your jurisdiction as the head of logistics of my cartel. Yes, my governor to be. I'm working around the clock to come out with my findings. And I've employed enough manpower to do a very important job for me. Please do, because we need to urgently find out what is fishy about the present governor's giving of an award of excellence to Dr. Peter yesterday at the government house. You are right, my governor to be. That comes immediately after the same Dr. Peter Oji publicly rejected an appointment being given to him by the governor as the Commissioner of Environment. Honey, without any iota of doubt, I am suspecting the governor is trying to draw the man of God closer to him so that he can use him to replace you. You know, after the recent disagreement you both had uh, over some issues. Let all hands be on deck. We need to unravel what is going on. No dead, my governor, to be. This is a political matter. Son, I know what I'm doing. You see, Dr. Peter, Oji, I'm only using him to make Dr. Maxwell or Domigwe sit up. Dr. Peter Oji, as far as I'm concerned, is not going to run for governorship. He will not. Neither is going to run for any political office. He won't. Because of his profession. A man of God? I don't care. Oh yes, I don't care. All I want is Dr. Maxwell to be coerced, forced to sign a pact that I will be his commissioner of finance once he becomes governor. That's my boy. But of course, you know, that's very, absolutely very necessary. Very, very necessary. Especially now that he's been shaken by the rumors making the rounds. You see what I mean, colleagues? When I tell you to make use of your head, there you go. You're now beginning to make very good use of your head. <laughs> I advise you pick Dr. Peter Oji as your running mate after winning the primaries. That man is a very sellable candidate as far as this state is concerned. Yeah, I know. I know that um, Dr. Peter Oji is a good choice, but... Um... But what, my love? I want to become the first lady of this state by all means. And I don't need any excuses from you at all, please. If it is about getting Dr. Peter Oji to accept the offer, don't worry, I will help you do that. Please. Listen, you know, it's a political party. And the party has its own way of selecting who becomes a running mate to the gubernatorial candidate. That's how it's done. Hmm? <sighs> but um, <laughs> never mind, never mind. We'll, we'll work it out.
How may I help you? I want to see Dr. Peter. Tell him Mrs. Lovelin, Dr. Vitalis's wife, is here to see him. Okay. Good. He said he's very busy now with the work of God. That he will not be able to see you now. That you should come back tomorrow or in the evening. Can you imagine? Did you tell him the caliber of person here to see him? Yes, I did. Excuse me. Good day, Pastor Peter. Good day, madam. This one, you are here in this manner, myself. Everyone is safe, except otherwise proven. Okay, that is good. Did you send your pastor here to tell me you weren't disposed to see me? Yes, I did. Why? After I informed you I was coming to have a discussion with you? I'm sorry. I don't know how very busy this time. But I can see I have a lot of safe people around and it attend to. So what are you saying in essence? I'm saying I have to do the work of God first. If I tell it, then it will the camera. What an insult! What a mess! Why did I even stoop so low by going to meet that man? That was a public disgrace of the highest order! Jesus! A common pastor! Insulting a governorship aspirant's wife like me? Jesus! A billionaire's daughter! Oh my god! Calm down, darling. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sit down. Calm down. Hmm? Sit down. Sit down. Hmm? Listen. Things like this happen. Especially in politics. That's how politics is. When you see. Dr. Vitalis, what do I owe this unexpected visit? You owe me an explanation. Explanation? Yes. So what explanation if I may ask? Now listen, Honorable Wanko. I want you to recall the energy and the finances that I put, I mobilized other members of our party to make you the secretary of our party. And I want you to know that I am the most prominent of all those contesting these primaries and I'm most likely going to be the next governor of this state and I want you to note too that your success largely depends on me as the state secretary yes oh I see yes I see that's why you have grown wings suddenly right I will have you know that I do not need any iota of your support to win these elections you will see I don't bloody care. Go to hell! Vitalis is a Hold it! Hold it. Go to hell for I care, Vitalis. You will learn a bitter lesson. I don't want you to make mistakes at all. Hmm? And there should be no trace in any way. Hmm? Oh, you know, this is not the first time we've been doing this kind of assignments. So I have my voice waiting. So I'm um, going to be strike. Just immediately. Immediately. No wasting of time, no wasting of time. I'm excited to let you know that for the very first time in the history of our great nation, Nigeria, our great state, our beautiful state, shall be hosting for the very first time 
the Miss Intercontinental Beauty Contest. If you remember, this is part of my resolve during my campaign that I shall attract events that will bring in people into the States. Well, this happens to be one of them. You will also agree with me that this will help generate funds for the states to help ameliorate the sufferings of our people brought about by the present economic recession facing our dear country. Thank you, my dear people of our state, and God bless you. The governor's son, like father, like son, yeah, yeah. The governor's son, like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. Go to Ebonshi. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. President called me. Yeah, told me he said what he said. That the oil is in my state. He has no choice. Mm. Anyhow, it's okay. I'll, uh, yes, I'll still come, okay? I will. It's all right. Nice stuff. My regards to you. Bye bye. Daddy, daddy. Come to excuse me, both of you, eh? Hey! Oh, What's wrong with you? You look so excited. The baddest daddy in the country. <laughs> in fact, chop knock. Guy man. What's the meaning of that? Yeah, what, what, what's, what's the meaning of that name you just called me? <laughs> you, my guy man. What's the, what, what sort of name is that? Oh. Daddy, I know what this is all about. Know what? Beauty pageant. Well, so you know, yeah? So? Dad, I know you just need fresh new girls to enjoy yourself with. I'm not like you. The flock around with all these young little girls. Daddy, daddy. Abuja, daddy. Just go away. Like father, like son. Daddy of life. <laughs> Baddest daddy in the country. The governor's son. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. The governor's son. Like father, I've like never son. seen an elderly man as stupidly wicked as the present governor of this state. In terms of how he deals with girls on a daily basis, he's so annoying. With all due respect, I know I don't like Governor Okonta as a person and as a governor. But please, I beg to disagree with you on this. And uh, why do you say so? The blame should rather go to the gullible young girls who can go extra mile to get money from the governor and his cohort. You see, most of those girls employ diabolic means to get this old rich men to themselves. But what do you expect? And no, what do you expect from them? When all the government will offer to the poor masses is only but poverty and hunger. They must look for a way to survive. Yes. I think I quite agree with the both of you. You have points there. Those girls need orientation. Reorientation and sensitization. Of course. That is why we of the People Democratic Movement want to host the present inept and clueless administration in the forthcoming election. That is a task that must be accomplished. We must see how we will really use the governor's concentration and the pointing girls' voters to work against him and his party during our campaigns. <laughs>
man is down. The driver. Oh, this is a political matter. Suda, please, can we just forget about this and move on? Hon, are you saying that if I say something that will be detrimental to us, I should just overlook it? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I do not need to lose sleep over this. I trust Dr. Maxwell Ondogi where I trust him. Okay? And I carefully chose him to be my candidate, my preferred candidate, to sit here as the next governor after very careful thoughts. Hon, did you say trust? I don't know why my mind refused to accept him. Something tells me that he will not keep to whatever agreement you had with him. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to disappoint you for the very first time. I did my homework very well. And I can bet it that he will never disappoint me. I had a little discussion the other day with Maxwell and his wife. He said something that makes me think he has some reservations about you. And what was it he said? Honey, let's, uh, let's forget that for now. Sweetheart, why don't you choose the man of God, Dr. Pitoji? God is using him mightily in this state. He heals the sick. The barren get pregnant. The blind see. I think he's more sellable than Maxwell. So that, so that it's okay, all right? This decision is mine. And I just told you I have chosen Dr. Maxwell or the way. So why did you just leave it at that? Please. Oh, please go get me water to drink. Thank you. This is a political matter. This is a political uh, matter. I want to thank you. I don't want to thank you for all your efforts. <laughs> all right, one call. Despite all that happened to you, you still stood your ground and fought for your rights as the state secretary of our great party. <laughs> Once again, thank you. Thank you for deciding to support me, even as I do everything within my reach to win this governorship primaries. It is my pleasure. Mm. Oh, Honorable Victor. You don't worry. Hmm? I tell you something. In politics, there is no permanent friend. Yes. There is no permanent enemy, but permanent interest. <laughs> you see, at the time, I, I was greatly in support of Dr. Vitalis. But I found him not worthy of it. You are the man. <laughs> Listen to me. Yours is better because you have me win the primaries. It's close by. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, just have it in mind. I have your back. <laughs> I am ready to join forces with you to fight our common enemy, to crush you. the person of Dr. Vitalis. who will crush you. I assure you that. I am so, so, so glad. <laughs> we shall bring him down. This it is, is a right political matter. This is a political matter. Your Excellency, I am not saying it's a difficult task for me to appoint Honorable Collins as the Commissioner for Youth and Sports Development in my administration. If I eventually win and become the next governor. So what are you then trying to say? That you're not prepared to sign the agreement? Is it? With all due respect, Your Excellency, Honorable Collins here is my very good friend. And I see him as my younger brother. So why don't you want me to be part of your cabinet? Um, I'm afraid, Your Excellency, without any attempt to castigate your son, about 90% of the masses of this state hold a bad record of him. His present reputation is questionable. Therefore, I suggest we do not rush into giving him any position for now. Maybe along the line, 
when the anger of the people must have reduced, then we can put him in the scheme of things. Are you mad? Dr. Maxwell, are you mad? How dare you talk to me about my son like that? Huh? Excuse me, Dad. I can't stand this. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Sir, please, we've tried hearing you say something about Dr. Peter Oji's recent rev review in respect of his charity work in the state. But out of there, wouldn't you like to talk about it now? Well, um, Pastor Peter Oji, like I call him, is yeah. a man of integrity. He's a red giant. I call him tested and trusted because he's proven himself. In fact, we are blessed to have such a man because wow. he's a red giant. As a matter of fact, my NGO will be honoring him with an award very soon, a award of excellence. And I won't be surprised if my father looked towards his way politically because he's better than the other candidate. So in a nutshell, I endorse Pastor Peter Hodge. Wow, that's very good. Thank you. Um, sir. Sir. No. Sir. Sir, please. Sir, please. I have one more question, sir. what you did, Collins. Why did you do that? Mom, you and Dad should trust my judgment. I'm not a baby. I know what I'm doing. I also know what we stand to lose if I make a mistake. Okay, you know what you're doing. And what's the big deal in you telling me the reason why you made that costly move? All right, Mom, if you must know, I planted those press people in that hotel. What I said about Dr. Peter Oji was just a strategy to shape Dr. Maxwell and also make him loyal. Do you now understand? Collins! Yeah, hello? I'm hearing you. Where are you? This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game But no, politics is for the faithful But no Having analyzed and cross-analyzed the issue in question I have come to the conclusion that that particular Dr. Pitoj If we don't deal with him as a problem We'll have ourselves to blame Yes, my governor-to-be You are very correct We have to be fast about it so, what do you suggest we do, my able governor to be? Yes, because we don't have much time on our side. We have to urgently devise means to make sure that Dr. Oji's political recognition dies a natural death. Yes, how can he come from our side and steal the show? We will not allow that to happen. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. But no, politics is for the faithful. Hi, my first lady. How are you, Mrs. Veronica? You finally made it. Of course, yes. Sit down. Thank you. So, what do I offer you? Oh, my dear, that has to wait. Uh, you see, I came here because I have an important thing for for you. What is it all about? There is this news making the rounds on the popular TV station. I'm all ears. The news has it that Dr. Peter Ochi was giving a rousing reception yesterday in London. When all the citizens of these states who reside in London came out in mass to welcome him at the Heathrow Airport. Jesus Christ. Are you sure this move has any political one at all? 
I don't know. That is why I'm so worried. I am worried. Very worried. My prayer is just for this party primaries to come and go. So that I will automatically be sure that my husband will become the next governor of this state. Since our party has won over all the hearts of the electorate. My dear, he will. He will be. Igwe. Our people say that a man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Mm. <coughs> Our main concern now, Igwe, is how to wrestle power out of the hand of this selfish cabal who bring nothing but wicked policies. Policies that bring nothing but unemployment, hunger, wretchedness, poverty, and name it to our people. Igwe, may you live long. Olobulu sinia meji na kechi ya mwawajwa zonne. And our people say that we won't because of the fear of being killed in a battle. Avoid going to war. And I saw the war go. So we are here to implore you, Your Majesty, to do all that is within your powers to embrace this change that almost everybody in Aban is clamoring for. Igwe. Igwe. My fellow elders have spoken well. I will go against the, what they have proposed. Rather, I would like to beg you to add speed to whatever you want to do in that respect. We are the eyes of our people. And we must show them or tell them, let them know where the light is. Yes. <clears throat> in this chair. Once again, I greet you. I've never wanted to let the cat out of the bag. But now, I am fully convinced that the majority of our, our people want change. In that way, let me tell you about our distinguished brother who is here to see me. In the a person of Professor Levinus Elendo. He came all the way from the United States of America. We all know Professor Elendo, who is the president of urban people in the United States of America and Canada. He is here on court to tell us about another group he formed in Europe, which in alliance has decided to come and call on our brother Peter Oji to hear the call of his people so that he can serve them. Your Highness, may your reign be worthy of emulation. My wise elders, I call you wise elders because uh, you all have spoken wisely. No wonder it is said that uh, wisdom in a bag, only the wise can benefit from it. Because uh, it serves as a guide to a man's journey and as a safety belt to a drowning man. Um, in all honesty, uh, I must tell you that uh, I am overwhelmed with joy to discover what is going on amongst our brothers in diaspora. Honestly, God knows that uh, we are not doing this to hate anyone or we want to wish hunt any particular group of people, no far be it from us. We are doing it as a wake-up call to heal our land, which has been led to go rotten. 
either because of uh, ignorance of not doing the right thing at the right time or uh, just simply because of mere negligence of duty. Uh, so I encourage us to rise up and rescue our people from the winds and caprices of these devilish uh, cabals who have sworn to swallow, to destroy, to engulf, to batter, <laughs> to destroy, and to give us the pride, the light, and the peace of our people, Abam State, for their own personal or selfish aggrandizement. Yeah. I rest my case. <laughs>
So we intelligently mounted Intel to find out what was fishy. Tell me what exactly happened, please. So at the end of the day, we discovered some set of guys that were trying to unload some corpses at the frontage of Corpses? The yes, sir. When they noticed our presence, they scampered off. And, and you couldn't do anything? You couldn't do anything? Sir, we were able to stop them from escaping with one of their vehicles. So where is the vehicle? The vehicle is currently parked at the administrative block of the area command. And as I speak with you, sir, investigation is ongoing. Mm. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, you this. Ciao, sir. Game. Why? No, no, no. Somebody tell me why. Eh? This is what I hate. And I've always warned you guys against sleeping on duty. Are you guys no more rugged? Why did you leave any trace? Now, why didn't you bomb the car after disposing of the corpses? So Shut up! Now, all of you leave my presence. All of you! This is a big trouble. We urgently need to pump in a lot of cash in this case. It has to die a natural death by all means. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. But no. Politics is for the Listen best. to me and listen very good. This is an order I'm giving to you guys. No forgiveness, no mercy. Shoot him to death and leave the environment as fast as possible. Did you guys get me right? Yes, Your Excellency. Now go. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. <laughs> hey! I said it when I said God forbid I did not just say it because I wanted to say it I said it because I am an elder in this community and I am not just an elder I am an elder with wisdom and I am a strong spirit of discernment am I not vindicated to the show elder and the prophet I said, God forbid, God forbid, I said it because I have always known Dr. Peter Oji, Dr. Peter Oji, to be a genuine man of God. And now look at it. Look at it. Yes, sir. Look at yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come to think of it. Come to think of it. Yes. For the enemies to have thought of setting him up in such a dangerous manner and he's coming out of it victorious and unscattered means that his time of great popularity is at hand <laughs> and i believe that will lead him to the promised land of governorship <laughs> Don't you know how far we've gone on this? I just hope I am not being misunderstood here. All I am saying is, if at the end of the day, my daddy's party refuses to give him a ticket as a gubernatorial flag bearer, there's nothing bad there in considering the possibility of joining forces with the present governor's candidate. That's just it. How do you mean, Kingsley? How do we do that when we are in the opposition party? Daddy, <clears throat> this is politics. And you know this game better than I do. Remember what you always say. No permanent friends and no permanent enemies. If at the end of the day your party refuses to give the ticket, it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to decamp and join the ruling party and maybe run as 
the running mate of their own candidate. By so doing, at the end of the day, if he wins, you win. And you wouldn't lose out totally. That's just the point I am trying to drive at. It's a nice idea, but I don't need us to ever think of a situation like this. Because I know we will win if we do our homework very well. And if that is done, we have all it takes to kick the ruling party out of office. PDM I still cannot explain how I feel today. But I thank all of you. I thank you all. The joy in my heart is abundant. So I thank you for ensuring that we won yes. in that keenly contested party primaries this morning. Mm. We won. Yes. <laughs> but I want us to remember that our victory this morning is not ours alone. Mm. It is the victory of the masses. Of the mm. Mm. Therefore, we must continue to work hard. Mm. We will work hard because there's a bigger battle ahead. Yes. 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 And we will not stop until we have captured the number one seat in this state. Yes. That is our own. It is only then that we can talk about total victory. Yes. So I thank all of you. Welcome. Thank you. Each and every one of you played your part excellently mm -hmm. and that's why we won mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so i thank all of you okay. <laughs> 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 
I saw your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Victor. My <laughs> governor to me. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable Akachuku. <laughs> I saw you too. I saw you. And the women. Our women. Oh. Our women. Oh. Our women. Oh. Women. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. You are the people's mandate. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am the happiest person on earth today. Mm. The victory is a great milestone in our push towards taking over the seat of power. Mm. It tells us that we are close to our dreams. Mm. Exactly. exactly. But we just have to take our destiny in our hands. Exactly. True talk. As we rejoice, let us bear it in mind that the battle has just begun. PDM. PDM. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure uh, by tomorrow we shall have a fuller house. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, um, please make sure the Sharon Hall is very well decorated, okay? Sure. We shall be meeting at the Sharon Hall part of the government house tomorrow. Okay. Because we will be welcoming our national party chairman. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> and other state party chairman and a big party stalwarts of our party. Mm. All coming from different parts of the country. So ladies and gentlemen, you can see that the importance of this urgent meeting cannot be overemphasized. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> Your Excellency, my amiable governor, standing on existing protocols, I wish to thank all of us here for a job well done. I know there were times we disagreed just to agree, but now we have reaped the fruit of our labor. At least I won the primaries. No, I mean we all won the primaries. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, despite all that have been said about our amiable governor here, mm -hmm. by some agreed members of our great party, it is work in progress. Yes. We must win the main election coming soon. Must. By hook or by crook. Yes. The opposition must be crushed. ARD. Power, Power to the nation. ARD. Power to the nation. ARD. Power to the nation. I like that. My people. Ewe. This development is an excellent one. Ndibani to win West Nanya Kija more catchalach and I'm to pay your beginning. Oh, sir! Dr. Peter G. Ibra Kachalacha. For you to have listened to the pleas of your people and have accepted to go against your wish to run for the number one seat of this great state, we thank you, especially on behalf of my family and my people. May God grant you the victory. Ndibai Pedro. Yeah. Ndibai Pedro. Yeah. Ndibai Pedro. Yeah. Your Highness, I thank you and everyone here today for everything that happened here today. I'm grateful. Okay. Uh, for your truth, 
I know what my people want from me. Yeah. As an independent candidate, the tax ahead of me is an enormous one. But I'm confident. But the dog is With all of you behind me, the victory is sure. Oh. <laughs> Your Highness, I shall make my statewide declaration by Monday morning. Don't <laughs> 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 On the JJ, on a man, Peter Jikai Gesu. On the JJ, Peter Jikai Gesu. On the JJ, on a man, Peter Jikai Gesu. On the JJ, on a man, Peter Jikai Gesu. On the JJ, on a man, Peter Jikai Gesu. Tomorrow morning, I will transfer 5 million naira to your account. Good. In a similar development, a man of God, Dr. Peter Oje, who is a first class philanthropist and the founder of the Peters Foundation, has officially declared his intention to contest for governor in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. But what baffles many people in different quarters is his decision to run for the polls as an independent candidate without any party affiliations. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Ordinary Peter. What is giving Peter the morale to dramatize? Why does he want to waste his hard-earned money in governorship race? To crown it all, he's even coming out as an independent candidate. In which country? Nigeria. In which state? Abam. Alright. Peter. We shall see. Peter. We shall see. This is a political matter. The say politics is a dirty game. Man of God. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I love you so much. I'm a big, huge fan of yours. In fact, I have followed your works. But you see, your charity works oftentimes leaves me wondering. What the state will have been if we are three people like you. Thank you. Yeah. Three people like you. Thank you. You will do me a big favor. Please, I beg of you. I want you to withdraw from the gubernatorial race. I will offer you three billion naira if you do. Oh. Better still, talk to Mr. President, of course you know how close I am with him, to offer you a ministerial appointment. The President and I, you know, despite the fact that we belong to the same political party, we've been very, very close friends. I thank you once again, Your Excellency. For the offer, I appreciate. Um, but with due respect, sir, uh, I'm sorry. I've made up my mind. I can't take the offer. I'm sorry. I beg to take my leave. God bless you, sir. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Honorable Vincent. Your Excellency. Uh, you are the state party chairman. And um, I presume 
that you know what it takes for a party to lose an election. So please, I want you to employ everything or I beg of you with everything you hold dear to your heart to employ everything you know you can to ensure that we not only win the election but that we install Dr. Maxwell the next governor of the state. Your Excellency, I intend to plug all the loopholes and do all those things I am supposed to do and do them on time too. In fact, Your Excellency, I intend to employ all the machineries on ground so that we come out victorious at the end. Good. Secondly, I want Dr. Peter Orji killed. And I want the killing orchestrated in such a very careful and highly technical way. As a matter of fact, I want it done outside my state. I don't want anything traced to us. Yes, Your Excellency. Consider it done. Good. And then finally, I want you to master from wherever. I don't care the source. About 500,000 fake voters card. I need it for whatever. I'm sure you know what. I don't want to mention yeah. what we need it for. You know what? Yes, Your yes. Excellency. Yes, I know. Let it be ready before the elections, okay? And uh, it will be done just as you wanted. All right. Gentlemen and uh, lady. I guess uh, we're okay with this. Oh, yes. very happy. Very happy, Your Excellency. As a matter of fact, this is why I invited all here. Dr. Maxwell. Your Excellency. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're happy now. Oh, I am. I am happy, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. You <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, my political matter. This is a political matter. Professor Zofejika and Livinos. I appreciate the effort so far. Thank you. God will bless you and all our people in Europe working with you. God will bless you. You see, you it's not easy tax. Traveling all the time, Nigeria to overseas, just to make sure I become the next governor of Alabama State. <laughs> I say once again, God bless you. You're welcome, Doc. <laughs> Doc, this time around, we in diaspora. We want to assure you that we have mapped out enough funds to take good care of your campaign activities. <laughs> um, again, on the issue of um, security network, we want your face on that to be addressed. Because we have planned to look for high profile security personnel to ensure your security is optimal. Thank you again. I'm most grateful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Our governor to be, please feel free. Apart from what we said, I've been sure. If there is any other thing you need from us, don't hesitate to let us know. No problem, Professor. In terms of security, I want to use the pastors and prayer warriors to do the job. Prayers, not gone. My ultimate weapon is the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb that speaketh no better things than the blood of Abel. That's my weapon. It's all right. Well, right. if you say so, there's no problem. Whatever is written is written.
Your Excellency, great job, well done. Thank you very much. You are my great, God, great job, well done. Yes, I can always count on you. I'm always loyal. The master strategist, <laughs> always. That's you. Okay. Thank so? you. Thank you. I told you. Yeah. Come here. Come here. I told you. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was great. You know, when he was going to be removed, I insisted that he stays yeah. because I saw something that nobody saw. <laughs> Here we are. Yes. Give it to me. Thank you, sir. My party chairman. It is well. My governor. Okay. You've done your part. Thank you. Leave the rest. You are my backbone. Now do it. I'm always lawyer. Please sir. Come here. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I will buy you a new shoe. My party chairman. Give it to me. Your excellency. Your excellency. Your excellency. It is most unfortunate that a man like Dr. Peter Oji a great philanthropist, a known man of God in the States, could be murdered in cold blood by unknown assailant. My dear people of Abba States, please, I beg of you, that whoever has any useful information as to who the killer or killers of Dr. Peter Orji is or are, should please come forward. A handsome reward awaits whoever will give us a useful information that will lead to the address of the Congress. Thank you, and may God bless the good people of our
You are Engineer Amanda. Yes, Your Excellency, sir. I just want to thank you for all your efforts so far. Honestly, it's not easy to find someone like you. Especially now the country is faced with economic crisis. All glory to God. And many thanks to you, sir, for deciding to take the bull by the horn in ensuring you help salvage the sorry state of our dear Abam. You know, I'm so proud when I benefit positively from young ladies like you, especially your friends. I mean, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up, Amanda. The pleasure is mine. Amanda, what I want for you is to continue the good work you are doing for us. You have just been a great support to us. In a while, just in a while. I promise you will never regret it. Even if I don't become the governor of the state. God forbid. I reject it. You must become the next governor of this state. Amen. 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 Sir, let me be sincere with you. I don't get involved in unfruitful ventures. Even before I graduated with first class degree, I never got involved in failure. Please, sir. All I need you do, never fail to let me know of every move you want to make as it pertains to your ways of becoming the next governor. I need to always get everywhere back before any move so that you could be on top. Madam, you don't need to stress yourself when it comes to the authenticity of every move I make. Kinsley is here. I promise to do my job very well. My dear, even the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, 21, where a man's treasure is, there shall his mind also be. So don't blame me if I try to be sure of every move my husband contracts you to make. No problem. I'm just concerned about your comfort and the security of my job. In fact, that is why I keep changing location each time you want to see me. Thank you very much, Miss Amanda. Um, Amanda. Yes? Most of the adventures I've been involved in in life have aided me with a nice survey in what I term Nostra Costra. So I have no doubt whatsoever you've got the ability to do the job you've been handed over to do perfectly well. So straight to the point, is there any relevant information you would love us to have with respect to what we've discussed? I mean, are there some important tips you want me to pass across to my dad? Yes. I have an important information for both of you. Dr. Peter Oji will be traveling to Australia next week Monday to have a meeting with some citizens of Abam, Ogade. I think this is the right time for us to experiment that strategy involving some lesbians. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. What kind of problem is this? Why has that man decided to make himself a big temptation to us? My husband is well positioned to take over power as the next governor of this state. Why did he come out to contest all this war? Sweetheart, the worst part of it is that this man is proven to be indestructible. I don't know the kind of power he's using to perform all this magic. But trust me. I'm not sure he's using the power of God. It's far from God! So what do we do to counter the fast rising of that stupid man? In few days time, the election will come up. Instead of my husband to conquer the combined forces of Governor Okonta and Dr. Maswell Liwe, he now has to battle with another strong force in the person of Dr. Peter Oji. What do we do? We need to do something very fast. Very, very fast. This is a political matter. With no doubt, I think that man called Dr. Peter Oji is not an ordinary man. 
He has got powerful charms that make him invincible. How can he just be escaping each time I give out an information and a trap is consequently set for him? You know, I've always suspected that man to be very fetish. How do you explain it? You mean it is God that has been protecting all, all the plans that we've had for him? Is there any big politician that is clean? How can you be clean when politics itself is a very dirty game? Um, Daddy, considering all you've said, I wish to know what your opinion on this is. Do we just sit back, fold our arms in anguish and despondence and allow things get very rotten? Do we? No, we don't. Our concern should be how to neutralize his spiritual powers. Now that we are aware of how fortified he is. So, Miss Amanda, Is there any way you could make him make love to you? Or any other girl you could hire? Get some pictures of it. We'll be sure of success. By hook or by crook. What? Never mind, sir. It's nothing. That is part of my job. I will do anything that will make me to achieve success. Hence, you people are not against it. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. <laughs> yes, who's that? Sorry, it's Amanda. Okay, Amanda, come in. Good evening, sir. Oh, yeah, Amanda. I told you, you know, I took most time. No, sir. I decided to do it the other way I suggested. Was well, that why you changed your clothes? You were wrong. There was no what you were putting before. You are right, sir. The other dress got stained. So I just brought my empty to get this. Come on, stop this. You're in my office. Not in the night club. Mister, how did you go and try to come my office? We got the altar, stop it at the gate. Am I in your sweet heart? Why would they? Do they know if it was part of our strategy to have me dress this way? What has come over you, Amanda? Nothing. But the love I have for you. Though, I've always hidden it from you. Now come to me. Brother of Jesus! I will be good in the name of Jesus! Blood! Miss Amanda Godwin, I swear, if not for the fact that you forced Kinsley to swear on the oath to protect your life, no matter what, nothing would have made you escape my venom alive as I speak with you right now. I am so sorry, ma. Please forgive me. Shut up and be sorry for yourself. Idiot. Fool. Do you know what it means to know some of our secrets? And still fail to successfully deliver on your contract? I am sorry, ma. I am sincerely sorry for everything. The faults are mine. You see, before I suggested Amanda Hare should be contracted to do the job, we told her to do. She had never failed on any project before. So, I don't just know what caused this mess. I, I can't just tell. So where must she be now? Where must she disappoint us? How do we retrieve all the secrets we will need to her about us? Okay. Okay. Um, darling, please sit down. Sit down. Come down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hmm? I know how you feel right now, because this is a disaster. It's a complete mess. Um, 
what do we do? What has happened? Has happened. I had this feeling that Dr. Oji's charms would never let this young lady succeed. Very diabolical man. But whew, I just wanted us not to fail to explore this avenue. We have to think and think fast. We have to think and think fast. Sit down, young lady. Sit down. Thank you, sir. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. Now tell me. What happened when you took Dr. Peter Oji to his execution spot? Tell me the truth. Your Excellency, when we got to the bank of the river, we... And I forget Dr. Oji, Neko, what's Neko, what's everywhere? Nah, da, you go get it, you go man, you go get it! Yeah, exactly what Bruno Stowe told me when they were brought in here just like you were brought in. Thank you, SLS. This is a political matter. Father, you have to stop him. We have to stop him. We have to stop him before the unthinkable happens in the political domain. Under your watchful eyes. We have to stop him. And what do you advise I do, son? Stop him! That's my point. Dr. Peter is gradually turning into a force to reckon with. Under your nose. So we have to stop him. At all costs, we must stop him. I think you're right. Then stop him. Do something. Stand up and act like the lion that you are. Stop him. We must stop him. Like father, like son. Ayo, 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 This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. But no, politics is politics. Uh, how, how are you? Yes, good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, how are you feeling about this election? Wonderful, wonderful. Wow. So who, who do you think that will win in this election? The people's choice. Now? The people's choice. Okay. Who the people decides or chooses okay. will win. Okay. Are you confident that you win, sir? Well, I'm not contesting, but I know my party will win. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> The news update on the hour. Governor Konta and the governorship candidates for today's gubernatorial election have gone out to vote in their different polling units. Election observers say elections went on without any major hitch in many cities of the state. Information has it that Dr. Peter Oji of the People's Redemption Alliance is leading with big margins in almost entire major wars of the 18 local governments of the state. Whatever is written is written. Whatever is written is written. Yes, is that the... Chum? Okay. All right. Uh, are you alone? Okay. 
Are you within um, eavesdropping uh, distance? Fine. Now listen, the Federal Electoral uh, Commissioner and the Commissioner of Police on the way to pick you up, all right? To meet me up in my hotel. No, no, I'm still in the office, but I'll be leaving here in the next 10 minutes. Very well then. I, I hope everything is in order. Perfect. All right. See you soon, eh? Yeah, bye. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. Therefore, the candidate of the Action Republican Party, Dr. Maxwell Odom Igwe, who scored the overall total votes of 602,308 votes, is hereby declared the winner of the governorship election in Abang State. <laughs> Doc, you don't have to worry much. As far as I, Prophet Jirika is concerned, the power that be, the cattle, the cabal, have just shot themselves on the toe. After we got all the tax to get back to a desired victory. That is completely true. I also want you to note that the son of a lion does not die in a strange land. We are solidly behind you. Physically, spiritually, financially and otherwise. So you don't have to panic. Before we embark on this journey to install you as the next governor of the state, we in diaspora anticipated ugly occurrences and uh, mapped out strategies on how to tackle them. So just sit up, cheer up. There is no cause for alarm. We have been in the know before this time. So you are going to cut straight away. Yes, of course, sir. You are the people's mandate. You won the election convincingly. We have our facts and we are very much ready. I know. So thank you very much, eh? Whatever is written is written. Whatever is written is written. When a pastor becomes a governor, he go make a life better. Having carefully considered the evidence from both sides and also the address from castles on both sides the court is satisfied that plaintiff dr peter oji has proved his case beyond all reasonable doubt and is hereby declared the winner of gubernatorial election of abam state he is to be sworn in immediately and the cost of 500,000 naira is awarded against the defendants the court will rise. What, sir? Please, how do you feel now that the court has declared you the rightful winner of the election that was held 11 months ago? I get to go on the road. Sir, the governor, Dr. Maswa Ligwe, who just lost his office today to you in the court, has already enjoyed 10 months from the four year tenure. Do you have any intention of appealing for additional 10 months to your tenure? At least to make up for the time loss. That's my priority. Okay, sir. You just talked about priority. What could be your priority now that you have become Your Excellency, the next governor of Abam State, sir? My priority is giving my people of Abam State that thing they need for me. That's a good life. That's my priority. Sir. We all know that you'll be officially sworn in by Monday. What message do you have for the society at large? Uh, before I go into that, I have to dedicate this group to God Almighty, my family, my friends, Church of God, Abam people as a whole, give them a good, especially those that lost their lives during the struggle. May their soul rest in peace. Your message, sir. My message is that let the genuine man of God come out and rescue their people. Politics is seen as a dirty game because we left it in the hand of the bad people. If the new people 
destroying politics. They will repair the damage that the bad have done. Now we give the rich and the poor. Is it to be happy? Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Whatever is written is written. Whatever is written is written. Of course, Your Highness. I've really told them that. And you know I can do that. Yes. In no circumstance will I accept their selfish condition. Really condition. No, after promising the people of Abba good governance. No, I can't bring in those thieves and their group mm. into my administration. I can't do that. They say, can you imagine? They say 70%. 1%. Mm -hmm. I won't do that. <laughs> those men, oh. they are thieves. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. God will give you enough strength to conquer them all. Send them back in. Far away from your government. Eh? Because looting and bad administration is what they are known for and can never be tolerated again in this state. Thank you. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Nonsense. This is nonsense. Nobody dares me and gets away with it. No. Talk more or less of a combined force as us. You see that Dr. Oji? We must teach him a lesson of his life. Yes, sir. A lesson that will deter others from being stupid. I can't imagine it. I just cannot imagine how greedy this man can be. That he would refuse even one, one percent of our own candidates. It's unbelievable. Your Excellency, what do you suggest we do to him? Do we just devise means to make this state ungovernable for him? Or Dr. Maxwell, making the state ungovernable for him is not enough punishment for his sins. We need to do more than that to get back all the money we spent. He plants our own people in all areas of his administration. <laughs> he thinks he's a, a stubborn pastor. A man of God. Man of God indeed. Listen, if he thinks he's a man of God, we will teach him. Or tell him that we are men and women of Satan. Yes. And we will deal with him as men and women of Satan. Yes. Absolutely. How could... Oh my god. No time for excuses. Business before pleasure. Dr. Michael Kunta being the leader of the combined forces of the power that be in this state has asked me to present to you guys these bags of Naira notes as 50% of your pay. We all know how much that is. Immediately, Dr. Peter Oji is confirmed dead. The remaining 50% will be given to you guys. Any questions? No questions, Your Excellency. Good. Excuse me, guys. Whatever is written is written. Whatever is written is written. When a pastor becomes a governor, when a prophet is into politics, when the righteous is on the throne, when your mama bata buro me ojiji, you are the next governor. What you do, Karibo? You are the next governor. Oda mama. As a matter of fact, Mr. Commissioner, 
I'm going to release no stone on Tom. Anyone that involved in saving the killing, kidnapping, adoption of innocent citizens of this state must be arrested, executed, according to the laws of the land. This government needs no such thing at all. Okay? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You are really got sent in this state by this time. Because in the past, terrible things have happened in this state. And we pray that all hands should be on deck for you to achieve this feat. Of course, Mr. Commissioner. We need to achieve success in this contest. Okay? And that's why I'm making it very clear. For anyone that will be an ESCO in this new government, there's no room for bad eggs in this new government. Yeah. Your Excellency, you are the number one citizen of this state. And as a matter of fact, who pays the paper dictates the truth. Okay, Mr. Commissioner. I want us to start an urgent and holistic in up around the states. I want us to start from those men that call themselves the cause of the states. Especially those that are involved in assassination during the last election period. Let's start from them. No problem, Your Excellency. I shall set up a special squad that will start casing exercise immediately. We expect the all petitions investigated. And I promise you, nobody will be treated as a secret cow. This is my work for you. That's what I want. Thank yes, you, Mr. Yes. Commissioner. Yes. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes.
No one move. I will be dead. Lie down. I said, lie down. 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 Lie Move! I said move! 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 Let that go! Move! My children, I am now the governor of Abba State. Yeah, yeah, that is. I'm so happy. So now I'm not the governor's daughter. Wow! Finally, it came to pass. His Excellency, sir, that's for you. You are my children. But listen, I don't want your status to make you forget where you came from. Hmm? I want you to make sure that all the orientation I've been teaching you is always at your fingertips. You, can, you see, I hardly make mistakes in life because I genuinely put God first in whatever I do. It's okay? What's that? Yeah, I want it to do. Also, in a similar development, some crack teams of the special anti robbery squad have fished out a couple of suspected bandits who have been identified as gang leaders of some notorious and dangerous assassination and kidnapping network that had hitherto been terrorizing the entire urban state. The most fascinating and thought-provoking aspect of their confessions has been their identification of some top-notch politicians as being the brain behind their devilish actions. Consequently, as accusing fingers are still being pointed at the immediate past governor of the state, Dr. Mike Okonta, with respect to some mysterious deaths of some citizens of the state, Dr. Vitalis Uzo and Dr. Maswell Odum Igwe, who were both contestants in the immediate past governorship elections, topped the list of some high-profile politicians that have recently been 
arrested by security operatives in connection with different crimes. What? This is terrible. That is my peace in the state. Thank you. This is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. Why? Stay smart. Why? Stay smart. This state belongs to you. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. The state is mine. This state is mine. Keep quiet, my friend. Keep quiet. Get inside. This state is mine. Get inside now. This state is mine. Get inside, my friend. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, Ayo 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 this is a political matter. This is a political matter. The same politics is a dirty game. But no, politics is for the first. Meanwhile, several individuals, trade unions and organized fronts have recently been jubilating and expressing their joy and satisfaction for having a God-sent man like Dr. Peter Oji as the governor of Abam State. Many of them have been saying if Dr. Oji could achieve so much within just 11 months of his administration in all sectors of economy, then it might not be wrong to say Men of God should be allowed to take over many leadership positions in the country because one who turn they say deserves another. Whatever is written is written. Whatever is 